Hey everyone, thanks for joining. This is Crystal, and this is episode 960 of Lowdown While on Lockdown, where I will be giving you a very brief overview of some new product from Artimity, along with a couple of classics. First thing I want to go over with Artimity is just a really quick history lesson on them. Uh, they were started in 1960 in Milan, and they launched the Alpha Table Lamp, which you can still buy today. They are well known for their collaborations and some of their more contemporary collaborations are with Scott Wilson of an industrial design group called Minimal, uh, the Bjark Ingels group, also known as Big, and with Mercedes-Benz and Gensler. Artimity does more than just create really pretty lights that hang in spaces to be looked at. They're also looking at how they can incorporate upcoming technologies that they predict will come out in the next five years into their lights so that they're relative, relevant not just in a residential setting and in a showroom setting, but also in a commercial setting where they need to work with all of the other light fixtures in the space. So the first couple of fixtures that we're going to go over are in their design category. And the one, we'll start with the one on the left. This is the eyelet wall. This fixture is an ADA approved fixture. It can be wall mounted horizontal or vertical. And it has a really unique perforated pattern on the front that allows light to pass through. And it also gives a lot of really unique texture to the space with some light and shadow. Both sides of the light have a thermoplastic diffuser on either side, so it is wipe down friendly. It's not just bare LEDs. And you get a total of 1150 delivered lumens out of this fixture. Next up is the Gopal ceiling. This is a hand blown glass fixture. It comes in two different sizes. There's a large and a small. There's a ceiling and a suspension mount, and there's several different finishes, and they all start out with the color at the top, and then they fade from opaque to translucent towards the bottom. And then the last fixture on this slide is the Ipno suspension fixture. This has a metal shade and acrylic diffuser over a TIR optic that really helps direct the light down and to also get captured in that acrylic spiral diffuser for a really unique effect. Um, I think brass and black shade fixtures are more common, but this addition of the spiral diffuser really makes this a unique touch on this fixture. It has 1700 delivered lumens and it comes in 3000 Kelvin only. In the architectural lineup, there has been three new fixtures that have come out in uh, late 2019 and 2020 that we'll go over. The first one is called the Silent Field. The original version of this fixture had these little adjustable heads that pop down from the fixture. Uh, and this version just has the direct only very small optics that come out of it. It is super low glare. It delivers 2000 lumens. Uh, and it also provides an acoustic treatment in the space along with a really unique texture. It comes in black, white, and orange, and it can be direct or direct indirect. Next is the Alphabet of Light. This is one of my favorite fixtures of any fixture that we carry. Uh, it is a really strong graphic line of light that you can put in your space in any way that you can think of. If you can take a heavyweight pen and draw a line in your 3D renderings, that can become a fully luminous light in real life using this alphabet of light. It comes in a surface and a suspended mount. It's, uh, it comes in round circles, or you can do straight runs or curves for complete custom patterns. It also comes in letters in an uppercase and a lowercase letter. This is one of those collaborations with Bjark Ingels Group, um, and it's one of the first collaborations that they did with them. And then the last picture is the Series Y. This was a collaboration with Gensler. The Series Y is this kind of unique Star Trek looking shape. It's either fully luminous, like the very the top picture, or it has the optional louver as well to cut down on some of the uh, light and make it a little bit more of a quiet fixture. This picture stands out because of these colorful end caps that you can see and also because of their unique joint system. So rather than doing a continuous run of light that is unbroken and seamless, you actually celebrate the seam and light. You celebrate this joint through this colorful attachment that allows the light to not only be adjusted on a horizontal plane, but on a vertical plane. And then last up, we're going to talk about two classics. We actually have both of these lights in our SeaTac offices. Um, the first one is the NUR, and the NUR suspension is a very sleek, contemporary dome shape. 
Uh, it provides primarily down lighting with a little bit less than 1% up lighting via a sanded gloss top. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a halo effect on the ceiling so you're not a totally dark ceiling. It comes in a mini and a larger size. Uh, it's got a lens on the bottom so it's not just a lamp view. And you can also get an acoustic felt treatment on this fixture. The Decora is more of a drum style with a regressed lens. Uh, and then the smaller option is kind of what I think of as an oversized cylinder. Uh, so it gives you a little bit more of a statement piece, but with very useful light output on it. It comes in the three different sizes that you see here. It has a spot, flood, diffuse distribution. You can get emergency on some of these sizes and there's a low and a high output uh, on each one. And that is all I have for you today. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.